<coughs> Good morning to all of you. Welcome to Legal Matters by Sai Baba Sankara. <coughs> we are now going through a Karnataka High Court judgment. The topic is when once the police complete the investigation, is he bound or is the investigating officer bound to inform the complainant about the result of the case? The simple answer is yes, according to section 173, clause 2 of the CRPC. But most of the police officers, they don't send intimation, they don't communicate uh, with the complainant because state becomes the complainant. This is the major uh, issue in this case. Anyway, single judge Sri K. <laughs> Natarajan of Karnataka High Court while dealing with the case of B. Prashant Hegde versus State of Karnataka in WP number 118,664 by 2021 on 13th March 2023 held that it is the duty of the I.O. It is the legitimate duty of the I.O. It is the statutory duty of the I.O. Because the word shall is there. We will interpret the same letter. He shall inform the complainant or inform the person who has first given the complaint about the result of the case. Right. So let us discuss what is 173. We will start from, we will discuss with chapter 12. Chapter 12 of the CRPC deals with the investigation procedure by the police. 154 registered to the FIR. Then they will proceed to the scene of events, record the statements of witnesses under 160 or 161. Ultimately, if necessary, any search is there, they will conduct the search under 165 CRPC. They will arrest the accused under 56 or 57 of the CRPC. Then they, after completion of investigation, uh, suppose in the meantime, if they arrest the accused, they will produce him before the court under section 167 CRPC. Ultimately, they will file the final report under 173. What is final report? They may say that the case has been charged. They may say that their case has become undetectable. The case is of mistake of fact, mistake of law, civil nature, non-cognizable or all these things they can tell. But the important point is they have to serve the RCS notice that is referred charge notice to the person who is affected. Normally in cases where the police refer the case as undetectable, mistake of fact, mistake of loss, in the NC, all these things are false. Yes, definitely they will serve the notice. But when once they file the charge sheet, they don't serve. This is the main problem. Now, even the judgment also says like this. Let us go to the factual background. Mr. Hegde, B. Prashant Hegde, he filed a private complaint against uh, State Bank of India as well as Punjab National Bank, uh, against uh, the officials of the bank also that they have misappropriated and cheated him. So therefore, the offence was under section 1, let's say 403, misappropriation 403, 408, 409 because they are mis uh, public servants, 447, 381 and uh, 420 of course or 34 IPC 120B is also they have added so the bank officers collusively with criminal conspiracy they have caused a loss to him or so cheating you know causing wrongful loss or wrongful legate he filed a complaint okay the honorable magistrate endorsed it to the CID for investigation because a lot of commercial transactions a lot of financial transactions lot of economic activity was there it was endorsed to CID CID filed the charge sheet against the bank officials. Ultimately, the charge sheet is filed. Then the complainant came to know that the CID people, they did not add the bank, because, which is a corporate body as a queue. Unless you add the bank, so the responsibility does not lie on the officials. So he has fought with the police officers and ultimately he filed a petition before the court that he was not informed that they have not added the banks as the co-accuser persons. This is the problem. Then it came to light that the CID officers after completing the investigation, they did not inform him. They did not communicate him about the result of the case. This is the main point. 
Now coming to section 173, clause 2 of the CRPC. Let us say what it says. Let us see what it says. The officer shall, please remember, shall. Shall means must. So this will come under grammatical interpretation. Shall or strict construction. So the officer shall also communicate in such manner as may be prescribed by the state government the action taken by him to the person who has given the first information relating to the commission of crime. That means he has to inform the complainant. This was not done. So even according to APPA police manual, whenever the investigation is completed, you have to serve the RCS notice. Already told you, a referred charge sheet notice. So this RCS notice should be given in the cases where the charge sheet was filed, in the cases which are being referred also. But normally police serve the notices on the referred charge sheets, but not on the filed charge sheet. Why? Because complaint will always be moving around the police station. He will be knowing that is their intention. But as per record, they have to inform, they have to communicate with him. Right? This is the major. Admittedly, the IO did not communicate the issue to the complainant. So here the court said, the legislature used the word shall. Shall means must be done. So, but no action. So now the court says, yes, as a corporate body, bank also has to be added because it is a cheating case. Bank is liable to pay some amount. Right? So, of course, when the advocate on behalf of the banks, he stated that, Your Honor, it is left to the investigation. They can add even at the stage of 319 also. No doubt all the provisions are there. But as far as this case is concerned, please remember, whenever the police finalizes the investigation of a case, they have to inform the complainant also. If you know this much, it is sufficient. So please read the case law and enrich your legal knowledge. With this, I am concluding. Thank you very much.